different type of video, but still pertinent to this channel. Um, I generally never win things, so I was shocked that I won my friend Candice, aka Lip Balm Queen's giveaway that she did over on her channel not too long ago for the Bomb Shot Lip Balms, and they came. I'm gonna be really careful not to show addresses here, but this is the back side. She decorated the whole thing with duct tape, and it's just adorable, and I love it. And I want to show you guys how cute it was before I go and open it on camera. I have not even opened it myself yet. I'm feeling for where edges are to make sure I don't accidentally cut into anything. So, okay, I think I'll be extra cautious and go right along the very seam here. Take a peek, see if there's anything I'm hitting. I don't think there is. Super careful. And then after all that, I didn't go far enough because there's an envelope inside of the duct tape outer side. So, okay, I have to go a little further down. Okay. Still being super, super careful. Uh, where did that little bit go? I don't want my dog to get that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we are into it. No, I'm trying not to sneeze. Okay. Urge pass. Okay. There we are. I am in. So. Let's get these out and show them to you guys. They are like seriously adorable and very different packaging than any other lip balm I have ever seen. Which I think is really cool. They look like bullet shells. I love it. That's like my speed right there. So this one is the Bomb Shot Genuine Original Classic. This is the um, Firm Turning Base Metal Base Type Kitty Cap. So see, I would have guessed that this is the turn wheel and that this is the cap. But no, this is the turn wheel and this is the cap apparently, which that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, double barrel protection against... Sunburn, windburn, chapped lips. I think it's really cute. Beeswax lip balm, SPF 15 with natural oils and vitamin E. And then loaded with lip balm, not buckshot. <laughs> I love it! So over here on the back, so you guys can see. Yeah, they show the whole problem with typical lip balms with a loose cap and oozing balm, too easy to turn base. And then it messes up your pocket. Don't let this happen to you! Wayne S. Forey, the inventor of Balm Shot, was diagnosed with lip cancer in 1983 due to sun exposure. After lip reconstruction surgery, he began using lip balm every day to protect his lips. Wayne became dissatisfied with standard lip balm dispensers because the base would twist in his pocket, mashing the balm into the loose-fitting cap, making a gooey mess. Haven't we all lived it? Come on, then. <laughs> While tinkering at his garage workbench one Saturday, Wayne envisioned a new type of lip balm dispenser with a tighter fitting cap and smooth turning base. His vision resulted in balm shot. Shot shells loaded with lip balm, not buckshot. No more twisting, no more loose caps, no more gooey mess. That is freaking awesome. So, active ingredients... Uh, oh, oh, and right here it does mention that it's permitted in checked luggage on airplanes, which is definitely good to know because I actually kind of was wondering about that, not gonna lie. But yeah, so active ingredients, octinoxate 2% and oxybenzone 4.5%. Uses helps prevent sunburn, helps prevent and temporarily protect dry, chapped, or windburned lips. And then the inactive ingredients are beeswax, sunflower seed oil, Castor seed oil, lanolin, coconut oil, flavor, corn oil, uh, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, and BHT. I've heard the term BHT before. I have to look up what that is because I actually have forgotten what BHT is, but okay. So that is the classic one. Not sure what it smells like. I will find out, especially when I do a proper review on it. Right now I'm just showing them to you guys. Oh, this one's so cute. This one's like a little pink one for um, breast cancer, screenings, and mammograms. A portion of this purchase will provide that. Um, and this one is in vanilla mint. You guys know how much I love vanilla mint. Like crazy. Oh my goodness. 
is there anything different on this one other than classic and pure pink that's the only difference i see so far oh this one has different ingredients from that one because this one only had two active ingredients this one also has whoa 40.7 percent petrolatum so this one's petrolatum free then really huh okay so the inactive ingredients in this one are ozocarite mineral oil isocetal stearate isopropyl lanolate carnauba wax flavor lanolin paraffin isop isopropyl myristate menth uh i mean peppermint oil i'm trying not to read the scientific name just because it's easier for you guys to know what it is vitamin e um aloe leaf extract, microcrystalline wax, tocopherol, linolate, cetyl alcohol, methyl paraben, propyl paraben, titanium dioxide, yellow number five lake, and red six lake. So this is like an entirely, entirely different, um, different formula than that one. That's interesting to me that they're so different from the same brand. And then the third one is Cool Mint. This one's another one in the yellow shell here. Um, double barrel, okay, that's still the same. And then how cool is that? Way cool. I'll have the little ducks on it. Aw, <laughs> so cute. Uh, let's see, this one, like the first one, only has the two active ingredients again. And... Yeah, the inactive ingredients in this one almost totally mimic that one, except this one also has peppermint oil. That's really interesting. I wonder how these two will hold up versus that one, just quality-wise, because they're so different. Hmm. Well, you know, those, as well as everything else on the planet, they will get reviewed. But yeah, I've been seeing these all over Instagram and thinking how freaking cute they are, and just... I didn't even know where to buy them or anything, so I was stoked when there was a giveaway with them as the prize, and I actually won it, because, like I said, I never win anything. I think this is the second win uh, giveaway I've ever won in my entire life, so yay! <laughs> I'm really excited over that, so again, huge thank you to Candice, and I'm going to put a link down in the description for you guys. You should totally go check out her channel. She is amazing. You'll love her if you haven't already checked her out. But I have a feeling if you watch my channel, you totally already do watch her. So anyway, that's about all I have to say in this one. And I'm going to do another review later. I haven't decided yet. Do I, whoops, dropped it. Do I want to review this and get one step closer to being done reviewing the glosses? Because there's only three to go. This one and two more. Or do I want to review this? You should tell me in the comments what you'd rather see later on tonight. So just saying. The more people who comment, the more voices are being heard. If only one person comments, then I guess they're going to make the judgment call. So chime in your votes and do it quickly because I am choosing tonight. By the time that the video goes up, it goes up. And whichever one doesn't get it, I'll do tomorrow. So anyway. As usual, if you like the video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. And until next time, bye!